What's up Starlight Aquatics? This is Danny. This is a video that's going to kick off the whole series and the whole page for this YouTube channel. And it's going to be about our favorite hobby which is fish keeping, aquatics, how to's, and everything that's going to be broken down uh, will be something that's going on in this tank. And as I grow and I get new things and I introduce that to this tank I'll have you with me here so you can say hey you know uh, you know that might be a good idea and, or you might like to do that and then you know if you have any questions you can always hit me up and uh, you know any questions at all no questions a dumb question of, of course you know I, I like to help people out so uh, if you ever have any questions or uh, concerns with your tank and you think that you need help hit me up I have no problems helping you out alright so what we're gonna do here and uh, we're gonna flip around here and we're going to actually look at some of the fish and um, we're going to see firsthand go over some of the species that are in this tank and what we're going to do is go over a few and there is the glowfish the glowfish are a genetically altered at birth they're not dyed or any of that stuff that you hear some of the nightmares it's it's uh it's it's not like the uh, what do they call them the Chinese painted fish or um, I can't remember what it was like chi uh, it was like uh, painted glass fish or something like that it's um, something that they did a long time ago but these guys are actually injected with the DNA from live coral and live jellyfish and different things of that nature and they come out glowing they're they're very beautiful and uh, very hardy fish they're uh, happy to uh, show you their colors and they uh, they're a peaceful fish they they are very non-aggressive and they're very docile you can pick up the uh, Tetra uh, glowfish tetras. They're uh, eight ninety nine a piece. They come in very beautiful colors, such as oh, got them to run away. They got the orange, the red, galactic purple is cool. Uh, they have the blue. They have the pink, the red. And uh, I'm trying to focus and show you at the same time. But uh, there's those guys. $8.99, you can pick up some at your pet store. They're very beautiful fish. I like them. Next up, we have our Neon Tetras. And this is actually the Black Neon Tetra. That would be these guys. That's Bonnie and Clyde. I call them Bonnie and Clyde because I had four. And for some reason, only two of them lived. So, that's how they got their name. Pretty cool. You can get those for $3.19. They're not that expensive. But uh, they're, they're pretty hardy fish too. Again, this whole tank is a peaceful tank. Uh, I have nothing aggressive so far in here I probably won't put nothing that's uh that's aggressive in this tank it's uh it's not a good idea ever to mix peaceful with uh with a a not peaceful or a semi-aggressive some some is doable but uh but a lot of times it's a risk and you don't want to waste your money trying and I've seen people trying to mix it up a little bit and uh, sometimes they have success but different fish have different personalities and and 99% of the time you're never going to get 
you know, the peaceful ones to play nice, or the, uh, the, the more aggressive ones to play nice with the peaceful ones, uh, but anyway, back to what we were talking about, the, uh, Zebra Danios, now I have these guys, let's see, they are, great, he's in the back, In the back there, you see the stripey. At there, you let's see if I can't get it from the, from this side. They like to play behind that castle. The zebra danios. See if we can't see them. There's one. Anyway. Um, the Zebra Danios are, they're, they're roughly cheap. They're $1.89 a piece. See the Zebra Danios. Got the stripes running down their back. They're a hardy fish, and they're, uh, $1.89, $1.89 a piece. They're not bad. And, uh, they're, again, a, a schooling fish. At, pretty much everything in here is schooling. Uh, you like to keep about... For the Tetras, five a piece, you know, would together would be a good start, you know, keeping keeping a school of them really brings out everything, and it also makes them happy when they're when there's more than more than three, I would say. Um, all right, we covered the Danios. We have the Neon Tetras. These beautiful girls in the back. Let's see. Scroll to that. Let's see if I can't get the neons. They got the stripe down their side. They are a beautiful schooling fish they're very peaceful um they like to swim in large numbers the, uh when they swim in schools it is absolutely gorgeous um i have um a bunch of them i'll go over how many fish i actually have in here so far and then uh i'll sh i'll tell you exactly what's going on the uh, dragon gooby, uh, he's in his cave. So, we're going to look down in his mound. And, uh, let's see. Dragon gooby is in there. He hides. That's the dragon gooby. But, uh,. He likes to hide in there. He is now about nine inches long. He kind of built up this mound of sand in front of it, and that's been his uh his little sanctuary. He's uh he comes out to eat, and we feed him bloodworms and brine shrimp. Which, uh, that's kind of his favorite meal. Let's see if we can get, kind of see how long he is. You can see if you look straight back, you can see the tip of his tail, which is out the, out the back of it. Which is all the way in the back. But, uh. You can see a little, a little poop tail. Things about uh, ten inches long. Let's see if we can't get a little action on him. I like to. Get a little action. He's moving his mouth a little bit. He's eating. Got some blood worms got in his 
little area. He's really blue. And uh, got nice silver down his back. I'll, uh, I'll get another video when I cover him and I'll get him out so you can uh, you can see in depth a little bit better on him. And on top of that, we have the ghost shrimp, which, hi, hi, that's my ghost shrimps. I have uh, a couple of those guys. They like to scavenge and they will eat anything on the bottom of your tank. It, they, they'll help keep everything clear. If you dump these guys in, I, I love to have a lot of them. They take, they take good care of everything. And they're good scavengers. So, on top of that, we have... All together in this tank, as you've seen, I, we went over the, I've showed you the Glowfish Tetras. I've shown you the Black Neon Tetras. I've showed you the Zebra Danios. I've showed you the Neon Tetras. I've shown you my Dragon Gobi, even though he's hiding, but you'll get to see him in his video. And you've seen, well, one of many of the ghost shrimp that are in that tank. As you see, this is a uh, pretty big tank, so I'm not even close to stock. But uh, anyway, we have uh, 11 of the uh, glowfish tetras in here. We have two black neon tetras. That's Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, we have four zebra danios, and notice how I like to keep uh, schools of fish in this. We have Mr. Grumpy over there in his little uh, cave, the dragon goby. His name is Zoso. Yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a Zeppelin fan, so that's how he got his name. I got a uh, eleven goose shrimp in this tank I need to go and stock up on some gay shrimp at this time so the prices for the glowfish tetras are $8.99 a piece the black neon tetras are $3.19 a piece um, the zebra danios are rel relatively cheap there uh, you can get those and and get schools of those guys for about a buck eighty nine well worth it. I love the the zebra danios, the uh, neon tetras, which are two forty nine a piece, and there is twelve of those. I got one dragon goby. He is fourteen ninety nine for one, which also the water perimeters. They're a brackish fish, might I add. So. That's where the ocean and the freshwater meet. So you have to put a little bit of aquarium salt in there to spice it up. It's good for the fish and uh, makes him feel a little bit more at home. And he's happy. He comes out at night. The uh, ghost shrimp are cheap, cheap, and great way to keep your tank clean. They're thirty cents a piece, about thirty, thirty-five cents, depending on where you go. Uh, I normally buy them in bulk. Uh, the Dragon Gobi does eat ghost shrimp. So it's uh, multi-purpose would be one for keeping the tank clean. And two, if Zoso gets hungry, there's uh, there's going to be a little fairy tale action in this thing. Because he's going to come down and snatch one or two up. But... Anyway, this has been Starlight Aquatics, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Just showing you some of the fish that I have, and uh, there's going to be a lot more videos coming up. I'm just in the process of figuring out if I'm going to put anything new in this tank before I cover what's already uh, in the tank, like uh, exactly about the fish in general. Um, 
any information about them and so forth. But uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that like. And uh, every um, every thumbs up and every subscribe is greatly appreciated. You know, um, I look forward to making more videos for you guys. And uh, and I hope if I can help anybody with anything, and if you have any problems or whatnot, throw me a line, and I will get back to you. This is Starlight Aquatics. This is Danny. See you soon.